Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I did for you this like orange sherbet type makeup look. Um, it's obviously more geared towards photo shoots. I've had this backdrop for quite some time and I've never done a photo shoot with it so I thought I'd get inspired, do some makeup for it and then see where it goes from there. Um, I'm really happy with how it looks and it's obviously a bit more on the dramatic side. I mean I contoured with orange but yeah, I still think it's really fun, and if you guys want to see how I created this look, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so today I already started with my foundation done because for my photo shoots, I prefer that my models bring their own makeup just so it matches their skin tone and also their skin type the best. Um, I prefer usually light to medium coverage. I don't like too full of coverage when I'm doing photo shoots because I don't think it photographs as well. So um, yeah, my eyes are already primed with concealer, so let's get started. My go-to palette when I'm doing photo shoot makeup is my Galaxy Chic Palette by BH Cosmetics. It's this just really colorful and vibrant palette, um, and I like my looks to be really vibrant, so yeah. So today I'm going to be creating this kind of like, it reminds me of orange sherbet ice cream, so that's probably what I'm going to call it, but I'm going to start by taking the shade Venus, which is this really nice shimmery orange shade, and I'm going to be taking that on a blending brush and just putting that through the crease. These eyeshadows aren't extremely pigmented, so don't be afraid to really swirl your brush in them. And I'm going to be taking this through the crease and a little bit higher than the crease because we are going for quite a dramatic look today. So next I'm going to be taking the shade Jupiter, which is just this pinky color that kind of has a golden reflect, and I'm just going to be taking that on a flat shader brush and applying that all over the lid. It's not showing up as pigmented as I wanted, so now I'm just going to go in with my finger to apply it. I'm just going to be taking that blending brush we used earlier and blending those two shades together. For the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking my Buxom palette and I'm going to be using this hot pink shade right here. Oh, my brush is still blue from when I did my 4th of July makeup. And I'm going to take this shade pretty far down so it gets really smoky underneath. Then to highlight the inner corners, I'm going to be taking the shade Saturn, which is just this golden light color, light golden color, and I'm going to be applying that to my inner corners as well as my brow bone. And then to highlight the brow bone, I'm going to be taking this long tapered fluffy brush and applying that. And this is also going to help blend into the orange shade. So if you over blend it, this is going to help clean it up just a bit. And 
Now for my favorite part, we are gonna be filling in the eyebrows, but instead of normal, we're gonna be doing it with a gold shade. So I'm gonna be using Half Baked from my Urban Decay palette. As you can tell, this palette is well loved. Um, and we're just gonna fill it in like normal, but with a gold shade. So now that we have those filled in, I'm going to be taking my Chella Clear Brow Gel just to set them in place, and I'm going to be brushing them upward so they look really full and kind of undone. I just trim my eyebrows so they don't really want to go up, but aren't trimmed then brush them up. Gold brows are just so fun I wish I could do them in everyday life. So now for mascara I'm going to be using Blinks mascara and this mascara is really interesting because it's a tubing mascara so it like coats your lashes with like little tubes and then when you take it off you just get like a damp hot cloth put it over your eye and then drag down and all the little tubes come off so like you don't have to rub your eyes, I don't know. It's really strange, but it's kind of fun. And I usually never leave my bottom lash line bare, but I think I might today, so I'm going to skip out on mascara on my lower lashes. So this is it just for the eye look right now. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the face, and first I'm going to start with a cream product. I'm going to be taking the LA Colors Cheek and lips tinted there is no way this is for your lips I don't know it's just this really frosty um, silver highlight and I'm gonna be taking that on my fingers and then applying that to my cheekbones the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow just all the regular spots Okay, so next I'm going to contour and I'm going to be taking the orange shade we used in the crease, Venus here, and I'm just going to be putting it um, along my temples and through my cheekbones. So you're going to put this anywhere that you would normally contour with a brown shade, but since it is more of an editorial look, we're going to go quite extra with this. And I'm just taking it on a stippling brush and applying in circular motions. And then for blush, I'm going to be taking the pink shade we used, which was Jupiter right here, and I'm just going to be taking it on this flat top Wet n Wild brush. And don't be afraid to go quite extreme with this since it is more photo shoot makeup. So I'm going to go quite heavy with the blush. And then towards the end, I'm just going to swirl the brush to kind of blend the pink and the orange shades together. And then for highlight, I'm going to be taking the shade Saturn, which we used on our inner corners and our brow bone. And I'm just going to be taking this brush by Eco Tools and applying that everywhere we put that cream highlight. Can't find 
And then for lips, I'm going to be using the same shades. Um, I'm going to be taking, I think I'll do Jupiter, the pink one, and I'm going to put that all over my lips. take just a tiny bit of that hot pink buxom shade we used earlier and very lightly apply this on top. Then in the very center I'm going to be taking Saturn just to highlight. Okay guys, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it's really fun and I love it with this backdrop that I have. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and if you guys want more uh, photo shoot makeup looks, just let me know.